Hey guys, this is Avi Mesh, former Enterprise AE over at Orem. Uh, today, I'm going to walk you through how I used Aligned to accelerate my sales cycles, enable my champions, evaluate deal health, and ultimately close more business. So uh, before I walk through the template, I just want to be clear, this is probably best suited for businesses that are running proof of concepts with multiple stakeholders, where we're tracking performance um, and understanding the before state and the, the after state and quantifying it uh, ultimately to uh, drive a decision in the executive team. So without further ado, let me walk you through this. So first things first, got this little welcome tile. Anybody that doesn't know me yet, I want them to see my face, do a little nice introduction here, uh, let them know they can ask me any questions if they have any. Beneath that, I'll walk through each of the teams that are a part of the evaluation, both internally and then on the customer side. So I want to make sure they know the technical resources, executive stakeholders, everyone on my side, as well as the people on their side that are really investing their time and energy and ultimately believe that our solution is the best one for their business. I'll lay out at a high level what the process will look like. So from first alignment on ultimately the pain that these guys are experiencing to then the partnership finalization, right? Everything from the pilot to uh, a review of the outcomes and a formalization through legal uh, evaluation of the partnership here. Beneath that, I will summarize the partnership at a high level. I want the executive to be able to quickly understand what we're talking about here. What's the department that we're trying to work with? Uh, what are the tech stack items that we're gonna be integrating with? why they should do anything at all, right? So what are the pain points that frontline managers and users are telling me about, as well as why they should do something now, as you guys I'm sure know, status quo very often is gonna be the biggest competitor. So they really have to understand what the business impact will be both of doing something or not really doing anything at all. Uh, and then finally walking through what the funding plan will look like, right? They gotta pay for it. So is this repurposing existing budget? Is this reallocating things? Is this available to us already? Uh, feels rare these days, but wanna be able to break down what the funding plan looks like. Wanna articulate the, the current and future state, right? So for Orum, it was dials per day, it was meetings booked. Um, so what's the current state right now? What does the future state look like with this new technology, uh, as well as an understanding of which reps are participating in the pilot. So the executive that's being looped in can understand that it was a thorough evaluation that was completed. Wanna also use social proof as well, right? They're gonna take their team's word for it, but it's even better if we've got similar case studies, use cases from businesses like theirs uh, that have seen success as a result, result of the technology. Also wanna break down recordings of the product itself. These could be boilerplate demos. They could also be calls that we had with their, uh, with their you know, employees, right? Maybe we don't do the full 60 minute demo. Maybe we break down in a little five minute uh, snippet. That's the most impactful. Beneath that, we have a quantifiable impact that we are going to deliver, right? So that we could take the numbers from their proof of concept and deliver an ROI evaluation or estimate. Got a proposal slide here, right? We could break down what the terms of the agreement are. Uh, any sort of pricing, discounts, incentives that we can offer, uh, what the plan includes so they have a really good picture of what they actually get with the partnership and with the investment. And for those stakeholders that aren't really sure what they want to do next, uh, we give them an option here, right, to either schedule a call, uh, look through inf InfoSec documents, which, as we all know, are going to be more necessary uh, as the deal proceeds, um, seeing more demos, um, talking to product, right, to see roadmap examples. We have a bunch of different buttons here that they can use, CTAs that they can execute on. Overall, I want to walk through with my champion what the mutual action plan could look like. We had on the first page a high-level overview of each of the steps, but here we break down, very granular here. I want to align with them based on what they've done previously, right? So if there are any particular steps that they need to have included, we're gonna add them right here. We're gonna set a due date. We're gonna make sure we're staying on time. And the last thing, certainly not least, just all the legal and infosec documents. We wanted to have one repository where all communication can take place. You can see here, you can make comments on what's occurring. You can share this with stakeholders, right? It's one centralized area again, where those essential stakeholders in procurement and legal can all collaborate uh, along with our team. Uh, so again, this is aligned, right? This is how I used it help me accelerate my sales cycles, close more business. Highly encourage you guys to all check it out as well.